Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video, uh, we are going to solve the simple linear programming problem using IBM iLog uh, CPLEX Optimization Studio. So in order to do that, first we need to start the CPLEX Studio. So how you can do that, you should go to the start menu. Uh, after installing the CPLEX Optimization Studio, so go to the start menu. So you will find out CPLEX Optimization Studio 12.10 version. So right now I'm using it. So you will click on CPLEX Studio IT 12.10. Okay. So once you click over here, so it will be look like this one. So this welcome to our CPLEX Studio will look will always shown once you start the first time. So in order to start, so we will click over here. So this is basically the uh, CPLEX window is look like. So they, this uh, CPLEX output windows uh, has uh, different functions uh, because right now we can see that window number one that is basically, uh, so let me show you this one. Here in this video, we will write down the code uh, of using the OPL programming language that is called as optimization programming language. Uh, then uh, once uh, we have written down the code, uh, we will get the answers and the answer will be shown over here. If you can see that this is problem so we can get the answers over here. Okay. Uh, and the whatever the project you will create, it will uh, shown over here. So the project or you can say you are already have a project and you want to open it, it will, all the details will be shown over here. And the outlines are that is basically just like the MATLAB, uh, if you have used, uh, used already. So you know that outlines means whatever the command we are writing down over here, it will shown over here. And the most important part is these windows. Uh, you can see that. So these windows are basically uh, will be shown uh, in order to get different kinds of, you can say, uh, maybe there is some sort of errors while solving the problem that would be under the problems. Uh, the answers you, you can see under the script, if especially uh, we will discuss, there is a pre-processing, there is a post-processing, especially if you have written down the post-processing code, then you can uh, see your results in script log. Otherwise, it will not show not shown over here if you haven't written the post script. But the solution you can get under this solution tab once you solve the problem, and then there would be a conflict and relaxation uh, portions. That is, it might be possible that some variable or some constraints are conflicting with some other constraint that would be shown over here. And then uh, the statistics uh, section is also very important because in this statistics section, you will see the objective function answer as well as the, uh, you can see that the variables answer. Okay, uh, this black uh, graph over here, that is over time, that is in seconds and y axis, actually that would be the objective function answer. Especially this is very important when you are solving the mixed and linear programming or a pure and linear programming problem because it will show you uh, the breakdowns where uh, uh, at what particular time he got the feasible solution. So you can check that as the time is passing out it is start branching it, branching it while solving the integer or mixed integer programming and try to get the, uh, the best feasible solution you can get that. Similarly, in a profile, it will show you the usage of the memory uh, of your computer as well as the speed. Okay, so different kind of statistics you can see there. So uh, in a starting perspective, so the important tabs for us are the statistics tab where you can see the objective functions answer as well as the variable answer, uh, as well as in a solution tab, you will see that. In script tab, you can also see the results, but uh, only those results uh, which you have, uh, you want to show after the post-processing. So what is that? We will discuss that as well as you can see, uh, see the results over here in this particular window. 
So let me uh, start a new uh, OPLC Plex project. So how you can do that, you will go to file, you will click on new, and then you will click on OPL project. Okay, so if I click over here, OPL project, so there is a new window came out and they are asking us uh, the project name. So let's say uh, example one. Okay, and then they are asking us uh, the project location. So right now I'm doing that on the desktop just for the example. Okay, and then press okay. Okay, and then uh, if you write down the description, so let's say I'm saying go one. We can see that there is uh, a create model, sorry, add a default run configuration, create model, create setting, create data. Because in OPL project, the uh, first two things we must need it is that is create model because we are going to first of all creating the model to solve it. And in order to solve that model, we need the run configuration. So right now we are going to do that and then finish it. So once we click over here, so now you can see that we have a, a example name that is a project name and the description is written after that. And then we have a run configuration and then we have a model. So if we double click over here, that is basically the model. Picture. So they are giving us the welcome note. Now we can write down the code over here. So first of all, um, uh, we can do the uh, as you know that in a programming language comments are very important so if you want to comment a line uh, a single line then you can use double line so this is my first program the first OPM program okay but if you want to uh, comment the multiple line then you should write down a like over here, you should write on front slash static. Okay, this is my this is my first program. Okay, then static backslash. So this is uh, how to you can uh, how to comment the multiple lines. So this is how to comment the same. So now we are going to solve the first linear programming problem, which is very simple. That is this one. So we have objective function. We want to minimize it. Okay. And then uh, the we have only two decision variables with their coefficients 0.12 and 0.15. And we have three constraints and then we have a non-negativity constraint. So in order to solve this problem, so what we need to do, we first need to define the decision variable. So in order to define the two decision variable that is of our problem, uh, which is basically uh, the keyword is dvar. Dvar is mean define variable. So we need to define the decision variable and because we have two decision variables, so we are right now defining dvar x. But before that, I have written down float plus. So there is a again keyword of writing down, writing down that what kind of this variable is because this is right now we are solving the linear programming problem. So the float means the answer of this variable could be any fractional value. But due to this plus means the answer must be non-negative numbers. Okay. So the float plus x that means this is a decision variable. What kind of decision variable? It can be any fractional value of this variable could be, but must be positive. Okay, so there should be no negative number of this variable can be in our answer. Okay, similarly, we have defined the second decision variable d bar y. And the next step is we need to define the expression. So what kind of expression we need to define? we need to define a objective function. So in order to define the objective function in using OPL language, that is optimization programming language, that is D express. D, that is define expression, EXPR. Then 
what kind of answer again because we are solving the linear programming problem so you can write down the fraction okay so float okay so because uh, we want to minimize the cost so i have written down a variable cost equal to the objective function that is 0.12 as a 0 0.12 multiplied by x plus 0.15 multiplied by y and then semicolon so this semicolon is indicating that the expression is completed so remember that the semicolon is indicating the line of code is complete okay so that must be over here again so as i have already told you that the first uh, first two slashes is indicating the comments so right now we are indicating that we are defining the objective function or the expression okay the next thing is we need to write on the model with our constraints so what we can do that uh, that is the model is we want to minimize this expression so that's why i'm writing out minimize my cost because the whole expression is uh, stored in this then subject to and now we have the set of constraints now you can see that opl is a very uh, friendly programming language in order to solve the mathematical optimization problem because it is a, uh, you write down the code exactly look like the mathematical model you have written uh, on your notebook okay so first in order to write down the first constraint that is basically uh, this one so how i am going to write down that is 60 multiplied by x plus 60 multiplied by y is greater than or equal to 30 and then semicolon. okay so that means the constraint is finished so i have written down at the upper side of this constraint is constraint 0 1 colon so this is very good practice because uh, this is basically i am giving the name of this constraint okay so this is very good practice uh, because uh, the idea is we can uh, use this name uh, to display the shadow prices of the constraint or you can say the dual prices as well as uh, the reduced cost uh, because with the help of this we will uh, calculate these uh, uh, will use to solve the sensitivity analysis similarly i have written down the second constraint and the third constraint and block is finished so that means we have defined the decision variable, we have defined the expression, we have defined the model. Now we need to solve it, but we need to do it. We will take this uh, model and drag it to run configuration. If I drag over here, now you can see that we got the uh, uh, got a new window that is they are asking for us uh, what, what we want to uh, uh, take the name so right now uh, i'm using the first uh, that is the configuration one that is we have developed when we have uh, defined the project okay so you can also uh, uh, rename that one that is uh, using rename so you can uh, do that that is basically the default one okay so by the way we have uh, put over here and now in order to solve the problem what we will do we will right click over here and then click run okay so then press ok so once we click over here and the problem will be and the simplex is start solving it and now we are getting the answers okay so where you can get the answer that is under the problem the solution with the objective function is point. So the minimum objective function is this one, the answer of the decision variables. So further, what we will get from the solution tab, we are getting, this is the entire thing they have written down into different uh, methods they have applied and whatever. The answer of X and the answer of Y, that is the answer of the objective function. Similarly, if you go to the statistics tab, you are getting the objective function answer how many constraints, how many variables are there, right? So these are the information we are getting. And if you come to the engine log, you will get the answer of the objective function. So I hope you clear how to solve the linear programming problem in OPL, uh, CPLEX Optimization Studio. So it's very easy, okay?
No, no, the next part is let's do the sensitivity analysis. Uh, that is basically because we have solved the model. This is called as post processing. After solving the model, we can do the post processing. That is the part of one of them is the sensitivity analysis. Okay, so for post processing, what we will need to do is that is we have uh, written down. Okay, uh, we have uh, in order to find out the sensitivity. Post processing, we will start a block called execute. Okay, then the uh, block will start. We will, I am writing down F. Okay, then Cplex right now because we are using the Cplex uh, solver. So, Cplex, if I do that dot, so you will get a list of functions that you can use. Right now, what I am using that is get. Uh, Cplex, okay, status, okay. So because I have written down that is, so get Cplex status equal to one. So this equal to one means uh, once if this uh, Cplex is able to solve this problem, okay, then show me this. Otherwise, there is no need to write down the answer. Otherwise, they are saying else write down uh, that is right line error solution is not found. Okay. So if you uh, if Cplex haven't uh, reached the optimum solution, then provide us this particular line. Okay. So in order to perform the sensitivity analysis, what we need to do is uh, first we need to find out the uh, reduced cost. That is basically with respect to the objective function that is related to the uh, the CL variables uh, that is involved in your objective function. So in order to find out the reduced cost, what we need to do is I'm writing the right line LF reduced cost of X comma X again. So you can use X. That is the name of the decision variable dot. Okay. So now you can see that. So either you want to find out the direction, the lower bound of this decision variable, the name. Okay. So I write now solution values right now I'm using reduced cost. So that is uh, reduce cost. Similarly, I am finding the with respect to Y is reduce cost. Similarly, the shadow prices are uh, because linked with the constraints right hand side. Okay, so that's why uh, giving the name of the constraint is very good option or a good one. So that's why I am writing the constraint one dot due, uh, constraint two, and constraint three. Now again, uh, if I uh, drag to the run configuration of this model and then run again press ok ok so cplex is start solving it ok uh, so this is right now solving ok now the solution is there again we are getting the answer but in a script tab now we can see that the answer of the objective function what is the reduced cost of the x variable what is the reduced cost of the y variable and what are the shadow price against the first constraint? What is the shadow price against the second constraint? And what is the shadow price for the third constraint? Okay, so similarly in statistics, we are getting the answer. So in a script tab, once you have written uh, done some post processing, then you would able to see the reduced cost as well as the due biases. I hope you got the answer. So right now I'm not going to interpret what is reduced cost, what is shadow price. I think you already know that. If you uh, don't know about that, you can watch my videos on uh, linear programming using Excel. Uh, I have uploaded on my channel as well as you can uh, watch uh, uh, optimization, linear programming problem using Python. So thank you so much. See you in the next video.